Hello, wonderful people. This is Blackmore's Night. A traditional folk rock band formed in 1997. Richie Blackmore on guitar, Curdy Gurdy, Mandela, Mandolin, Nickel Harp, and his usual electric guitar. And Candace Knight, lead vocalist, lyrically, and Woodwinds. Other musicians are brought in as guests as needed. There are 10 studio albums. Candace liked Deep Purple and Rainbow. She first met Richie when she asked him for an autograph. Two years later, they were living together talking about Renaissance music. No, I don't mean the band. I mean actual Renaissance music. You get it. Candace contributed lyrics to Rainbow's albums, Strangler in Us All, in 1995, and she also did backing harmonies. Richie and Candace began to work on material that would be the first Blackmore's Night debut LP. This was Shadow of the Moon. Ian Anderson contributed flute on the song Play Minstrel Play. Candace was competent on a number of Renaissance instruments. And I would imagine that Richie Blackmore can play whatever instrument he feels like. The perform at Renaissance fairs and fests and at castle tours in Europe. The audience dresses in period costumes. Blackmore's Night is not beyond comic relief. They play authentic Renaissance music and then break in with an Elvis Presley number. Other covers include Randy Newman, Uriah Heep, Lady in Black, of course, and some of Blackmore's greatest hits, like a Renaissance version of Smoke on the Water. Yeah, I'm not kidding. This is what they like to do. Good for them. The newest albums, All Over Yesterday, is scheduled for a 2020 release. Knight and Blackmore married in 2008. And they have a son and a daughter. Now, I did not know that. I knew that Richie Blackmore was the big part of the Deep Purple experience for the first, what, eight albums? And then he moved on and had his own band, Rainbow, and they certainly made history with what they put out. But Richie wanted to do something different. And soon Rainbow and this concurrently. Like I said, Richie Blackmore, he can play what he wants, right? Certainly a, an enigmatic musical icon, a living legend even. I'm pleased that he's doing stuff that is different than what he does with Rainbow. I was such a big Deep Purple fan back in the days of Machine Head. Boy, that album really did it for me. Almost to the extent that Black Sabbath did it to me also. Between those two bands, that was the introduction to heavy metal for me. Unless you want to also include Led Zeppelin. Some people don't call them metal, but I think they had something to do with pushing it out. Led Zeppelin did music a little like this sometimes, didn't they? Battle Forevermore. 
Benjamin Page on his mandolin. Well, that's what I've got on this band. Just wanted to put them out there so you could see that there's more going on.